Hi guys, okay, so this week is Holy Week and for our art project I thought it'd be fun if I showed you a few different ways that you can color your Easter eggs, okay? So this is good for everyone. I even have a project that's good for babies even. So if you have little ones, preschool, one year old, all the way up to like, say six or seven, this is a great way to color eggs I'm gonna show you here in a minute even if you're bigger, but you'll find out here in a minute. All right, so things that I have, I'm gonna move my camera so you can kind of see. All right, so we have our eggs that are boiled, obviously, right here. Here is the secret to making your color stay longer and to look better. Vinegar, all right, just plain distilled white vinegar. What you'll do is after you boil your eggs, Soak them. If you can tell, they're in there soaking. All right, not for very long. We just need them for about a minute or so, just so they start to get some of the vinegar on and the colorant will stay better, okay? So while those are soaking, first thing I'm gonna use is Cool Whip. This is why this project is actually great for little ones because all you need is Cool Whip and food coloring. What I'm going to do is just put some cool whip down on a cookie sheet. Okay, doesn't need to be so much thick, it just needs to be spread out enough for you to roll your egg in. Some of you may have already seen this or some of you may have already done this. This is a good way to color eggs with little ones because they get it on their hands and then they want to eat the Cool Whip. It's totally safe because the colorant, your food coloring is edible. So it's safe and fun. And I'm going to use the whole container. Okay? Because that's how much we need. We need the whole container. We're going to spread it out. I think this is going to be fun. It is going to be fun. Alright, so. Once I've got it spread out enough, here's what we're going to do. Alright. I'll put that to the side. Now, because I came prepared, I actually have two pie pans. Alright. So, I'm going to take these eggs out. Again, we don't want a lot. We just want enough vinegar on there. So they start to coat. But the Put next two one's more in. in. All right. Those are the ones that still need to go in. Those are the ones that have already been in. So while those get ready to soak, because we're only going to do three, since I have three, we're going to put color down. All right. So food coloring. Basic food coloring. Yellow and red make what colors? Purple. Purple, yellow and red makes what color? Orange. 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 Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some drops of yellow. And I'm going to do some red in between. Okay. Okay. All right. Add some of color. Here's green. So we're going to do green in the middle. few drops here and there, and some yellow. Yellow and green make what color? Yellow green. Yellow, yellow green, that's right. So I'm going to put some in between. Blue. Blue and red make what color? Purple. Purple, purple. that's what we're going to make now. I wanted it to make purple. Alright, so I'm going to do some reds in between so we can have some purple. Oh, yeah. Alright, so these should be ready. Mom, you got some food color on there. Yeah, it's okay. It's from my finger from when I did it. All right, so before I let y'all start mixing, I'm going to take a knife. I'm just going to kind of move some of the food coloring around. Okay? I'll get some of every color. I'll I'm get some of every color. We're going to move this one around. 
How do we make yellow green? And same thing with this. We're going to kind of mix it. Now, as you're mixing, if you can tell that you need some extra color, you can add an extra color as you go. I think I might need a little bit more green. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to let my kids do it. You're going to take your egg, and let's say I like this one right here. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to roll it. All right, I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna cover it as much as I can. Again, because it's Cool Whip, to get it on their hands, it's okay. If you don't want to use your fingers, you can use plasticware or any kind of spoon. But once it's done, I'm gonna take it. And I'm going to use my container that I left and I'm gonna leave it just the way it is, and I'm gonna put it inside, okay? So, yeah, Rachel, why don't you come first? Yeah. Then we'll do it, me. All right, no, me. which one do you want? Um, the green. Okay, go ahead and roll it in the green. Bubba, you said you wanted purple? Yeah. Why don't you come over here where Rachel was? And you can lean over the table. I want you got it? purple too. Okay, yeah. wipe I your hands. I want purple too. I want to use a spoon. I want purple too. I'm going to use a spoon. You can I use a spoon. Purple. Here. Mm -hmm. I want purple. Did nobody you want purple? Yellow. Okay. I'm going to get yellow. Okay, you got it? And we have your towel. I don't know. What. Just keep rolling. You may have to use your finger spoon. Sometimes that'll work. Keep rolling here. Since Roll it in there. Cool. Okay, Rona, if you come stand over cool, here. It would be yummy. That's right. Go all the way around. There you go. Now, can you pick it up and go put it in the. Mommy, I want okay, here you go. Can I do it? You can eat it. How does it taste? You want to purple? How does it taste? Good. Is it good? Okay, ready? Yeah. Purple. Can I taste the mommy? You can taste it. Can I pull it? I'm going to put this one Ah, Go ahead and taste it. I got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't rub it on can your I hands because then you'll get it on you. You got it? Okay, wipe your hands. Can I Unless take you it out? It. Here I in a second you can take it out. I see it getting a little, like, okay. little dots. So it's going to kind of look like this. What you're going to do is you're going to want to let them just sit just the way they are. Mom. For about 10 minutes or so. Mom. Once you once you do all of the eggs that you want to do that way. Again, this is a great way to color eggs if you have little ones. Okay, because like like I said, you can eat the cool. No problem. Alright, so the next way to color eggs is going to be a little bit different. For this one, you'll need Rubbing alcohol, 91% works the best. A container for your rubbing alcohol. Like I'm gonna fill it almost to the top. And then Sharpies. Okay, Sharpies, in case you did not know, are alcohol-based inks. Because they're alcohol-based inks, you can actually blend them, dilute them, make them bleed with just plain alcohol. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Time for these to come out. Can I check? Can I do one? Here in a second. Be careful. Okay, let's put two more in. Can I take Hold those on. out? Okay, so. Wait, let them sit. Just like for before, a again, you want the vinegar because it's going to help the color stay on and make it look brighter. This time, I'm going to pat them dry because you need a dry eggshell in order for this to work, okay? So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your egg, and then you're gonna take whatever colors that you want from your Sharpie, and you're just going to, not necessarily draw shapes, but we're going to put some color on, okay? We're gonna put some... Do see those ones? Mm-hmm. Put some blue on here. And I think I'm going to do some purple next to it. Mommy, 
here. What does that make? This is blue. We're going to see what it makes. We're going to put some blue, some purple, and then I think we might go for some pink. Okay. This is a little bit of a darker pink almost I red. Well, you can do, and you can work this a section at a time, or you can do right. the whole thing at once. All right. So I set that down. It's time to take out those. Oh, I wanted to take it out. You can take out the next one. Okay. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Be very careful with your egg. Time for the next sticks. Why don't you come over here so you can do this next one? Time for the next We'll wait. Why don't you come over here so you can do this next one? Okay. So it's face in my spot. Can I do it first? Okay, what color do you want? I want pink. So while they are busy coloring, all right, I'm going to show you the next step. So again, once you have a section, you need to add more color. What you'll do is you'll take a paper towel, all right, and the alcohol. This is one way to do it. You can dip a little bit in, and you can let it run. Okay, I'm going to see that. Hold on. Yes, you may get another color. Okay? And you can kind of rub them in together. And let it go. And here we go. Now we're coloring this egg. The more you rub, you can tell the marks start to go away. Right? And it's picking up the color and you're just rubbing it on the egg. This is kind of a neat way. Mommy? Hold on. Mommy, I'm finished coloring. You're finished coloring? I think you need some more. That way we have enough. This is an interesting way that if you just wanted to get a very light color on one? it, you Can could do that too. No, okay. yeah. this one first. Okay. Right now I'm using pink. And we're going to go all the way. So I'm going to add a little bit of purple here, that way. I can go through here. Okay, so I have essentially blended the Sharpie ink to create this kind of look. So what can we do to cover up these marks. This is where you could go back, especially this is good for older things. Now let's say I wanted to actually now draw on my Sharpie. Well, say she needs something over there. Can you see what she needs? I like it ended up with a little mouse, okay? <clears throat> that is one way to do it. Um, the other way is, and we're going to put this in here, and I'm going to use Jose's. Okay, so now he's got some color on here. The other way that we can do this is you can take a straw, you're going to dip it in, just like old school, and slowly <laughs> put Mr. a little bit on there and let it kind of... Lead on it. Mr. Egg. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to take the towel. As you can see, how it kind of bled and here and there. Here. And it ran. Like. You'll get these neat little marks. Mom, do I think I need a little more color? A little bit. Mom's going to do a little bit up here so you can kind of see. Mom, this one? I I not done yet. I just need a little bit more. So, see when you still do that again. Say, I need purple. I need a purple. A little bit in there. Say, give me it. I need purple. Let it run. I need every color. Okay. Say, I need orange. All right. I need orange. If you want to, you can add some more color. And we can keep going, okay? 
while they do that, I will show you the last technique that I have. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. These really don't need to stay as long because this technique, we're going to be using water and nail polish. Okay, so nail polish. Okay. So nail polish is an enamel, right? And enamel will stick to just about anything. In fact, I use nail polish on canvases and on woods to get certain effects, and it's also very shiny. What we're going to do is essentially a marbling technique, okay? So where we're going to take some water and your different nail polishes, which I haven't used mine in a while. I think this one's got a glitter on it. To create a marbled looking technique. Good. Here in just a second, well, let me take these out. Good job. I'm making way more hair. Wait, I'm going wash your hands. Can I look at You can look at it. Now, why don't you wash your hands? Because you got Sharpie on there, too. Not off. Oh, I right see Yeah. Okay, so here I'm doing her egg. And again, if you have little ones, this is another good one too because you can kind of see all their little scribbles and they turn kind of very endearing, especially if you can get them to draw an actual shape for you like a rabbit or a bunny or a chick. Okay, let's let it dry. Can I use No, not, not on that one. No, no, no. Okay, so what you're going to do... Hold on. What you're going to do is I have a... A bucket full of water. Just a minute. A bucket full of water. Okay, hold on. You're going to take your nail polish. Whatever colors you want. Try to remember your color wheel. Right? And you're going to let it float on top of the water. Okay? I'm just doing little droplets here and there. They're coming bigger. They are getting bigger. Alright, so I got that one. I think I want to do some of this pink. Sparkly? It is sparkly. So can I add how many colors you want? Um, you want to add some, but you don't want to add too many because then if you make too many colors, you end up with what color? Uh, black. Black, that's right, for a weird looking brown. No, we don't want that. Okay. No. I'm so, trying to add a enough that won't make turn into. Right, you want to use the right colors. This what color is, is a science project or a science this thing is. because of the tension on the water and the nail polish. Okay? No, I need new water. Hold on. Alright, so I'm going to take. Hold on. I'm going to take this knife and just kind of move the nail polish around a little bit. Okay, now here comes the harder part. Okay, you're going to take your egg and I'm going to slowly dip it in my water and come back out. Okay, so wherever I have put the nail polish is going to transfer on to the egg. So what then I would then do is I'm going to hold it from this side. I'm going to pick up another one here and pull it back. All right. You, the trick with this is that you don't want to go too fast, okay? Because one, it's going to wrap also around your fingers. But you want to get it covered enough. You're going to take it and then set it down and let it dry, okay? So, let's do another set of colors. Can you wait a moment and let me finish showing them how to do this? Okay? Alright, so I'm going to do another one just so you can see again. This is kind of a, it looks like a purple. Hold on, Rachel. Okay. Okay, the other thing I think I did not mention was that this water is actually kind of warm. If you do it with cold water, it doesn't exactly work the same way. Okay? The key to it is the water needs to be warm, not hot, hot, but warm enough 